Jeffrey Lamar Harris, known as Bloodhound Lil Jeff was born on July 14, 2002, to Latasha Lucas and Jeffrey Harris in Chicago, Illinois. Jeff began his educational journey at CIC's Longwood and graduated from Harold Washington Elementary School. He continued his studies at Curie Metropolitan High School, graduating in 2020 and later took online classes at Daly College in 2021, but he later dropped out. Jeff then decided to hit the streets joining 079 Bloodhound Gang which is a subject of Drill City located on the 7900 block of Calumet. The Bloodhound are known for causing destruction in the neighborhood from early 2020s, they have been claimed to be responsible for countless murders and shootings. The set age for the gang is around 12 to 28 years old. They known to have ties with 400E and other Drill City sets. Z Money, Big Op, Scum, Q50, and other members make up the Bloodhound's membership. The gang became really active in the streets after Z Money an upcoming rapper was murdered, he was shot and killed in March 2023 at the age of 22. Z Money was shot more than 29 times in Avalon Park in Chicago after he tried to run away from someone who shot at the car he was waiting in while his friend dropped off some clothes to be tailored. After hearing the commotion, the friend shot back at the assailant. He saw Z Money lying on the ground. It was assumed that one of the Trap City members by the name of Leal revealed the location. That day, Z Money became one of the 4,000 people who were shot to death in Chicago during the previous 10 years whose perpetrators have not yet been apprehended. Trap City is a set of mainly gangster disciples located around the R of 67th and Champlain, their exact territory ranges from 67th to 69th St. Lawrence to Cottage. Z Money's killing had prepared the Bloodhounds for war against the members of Trap City. In the course of more than a year, Lil Jeff would catch and claim 11 bodies. Three months after Z Money's passing, in June 2023, Lil from Trap City, who was only 19 years old, was shot seven times at close range in the upper body while riding in an Uber in Chicago's little neighborhood on West Side at around 9 o'clock at night. An ugly image tells the story. Bullet holes covering the rear passenger window of the rideshare car outside Rush Hospital Sunday night. It's where a rideshare driver rushed their 19-year-old passenger who was sitting in this car on West Taylor Street in Little Italy when just before 9, police say a man approached the car, pulled out a gun, and fired those shots before running away. The 19-year-old was pronounced dead at the hospital. After the hit Lil Jeff would go online and claim he was responsible, he even released a song talking about the murder. Lil Jeff and other members would get Z Money tattooed on their face, as well as Triple Z on their trigger finger after avenging their fallen friend. Go ask for that Michael Drake. Go ask for out that Michael Drake for shit in part. Go ask my ops that Michael Drake his ass ain't making fuck. Go ask my ops that Michael Drake his ass ain't get out that cop. Know that? Bloodhound members were known to collect and rob chains and watches, they would post them on social media for their rivals to see. In a little over time Lil Jeff and others claimed to take J Cuban chains and four watches. They rap about all the jewelry they took quite often, and even posting videos of them in the car driving back after robbing someone. Monty was a 17-year-old from a West Side set called BKN Jungle. He and a few others from BKN were cool with certain members from Bloodhound like Lil Jeff and Vert, being seen together in videos as well as Vert being in a BKN vlog. This relationship would end in the beginning of January 2024, as Lil Jeff was hanging out in an apartment complex in BKN's neighborhood when Monty asked Lil Jeff his watches to take an Instagram picture. Lil Jeff agreed, and when he looked up, Monty and others had ran with the four watches, Jeff tried chasing but couldn't catch them. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't coming like, look, tell the ops, tell the ops, stop, stop wearing that, stop fake, stop wearing that fake ass. 50K! Jay. 
We got like 50k down. We got like 50k down. Less than a month after stealing the watches, something terrible would happen to Monty and his friend who went by the name Lil Rob. On January 26, 2024, Monty and Lil Rob were waiting for the bus downtown when they were shot and killed by two shooters in front of dozens of witnesses and multiple cameras. The murders became a high profile due to the fact that, the murders happened in this area especially in front of so many witnesses, these kind of shootings are extremely rare and the fact that the victims were friends. Following the murders of Bloodhound Lil Jeff claimed to be responsible in subliminal posts to his Instagram. This not only took his clout to another level but also his music career went to a new level. The shit will start happening and y'all know this by now. I went black for like a week and poof. Gotta go after that one. Poof. I came back. Poof. I don't hear them niggas though. On January 31st, 2024, just five days after Monty and Lil Rob's murder, Lil Squirrel aka Chucky from Wiz City Drill City was shot and killed on the 8,000 block of South Cottage Grove which is just a few blocks from Wiz City territory. This was as apparent revenge against Drill City for their involvement in the murders of Monty and Lil Rob. On February 16, 2024, Lil Jeff would release one of his most successful songs to date called, Ah, on AMF Visual's YouTube channel, which went viral with 490,000 views on YouTube and 30,000 plays on Spotify. As of July 2024, Ah, had over 1.9 million views on YouTube and 240,000 plays on Spotify. In late 2023 he would mention in songs that he had seven bodies, and as time went on and we got in 2024, after the Monty and Lil Rob hit, Lil Jeff would claim to have 10 bodies in the streets, something he would brag about. Lil Jeff would also get 10 teardrops tattooed on his neck to represent the 10 kills he allegedly had in the streets. Not long after taking someone's Cuban chain in their AP watch, Lil Jeff would take one or more man's watch before ultimately passing a month or so later. This was a blue face with bust-down Rolex, this watch belonged to Bredo from 6300 TMC who was apparently linked with Lil Jeff trying to buy a line of green lean, apparently only being worth $10. Lil Jeff would then pistol whip Bredo and his girlfriend and made Bredo to give him his Rolex. Lil Jeff would go on social media to let fans know he got another watch, and even went on Instagram live to show the fans who he took the watch from. I'm gonna show y'all who you got his ass fucked. That nigga just called me mad. Mm -hmm. right the one number, it was a hey, number. I'm gonna show y'all, look. This number right here. Ooh, it's him right here. Ooh, I see this here. He ain't got none of this shit. Man, look, we exposed uh, this nigga, cuz. This ass is fucked. Show that bitch. We got that. We, we got an AP already, bro. I'm, I'm having my way in Chicago, I Illinois. Now we got, we got another road. Hey, man, give them people that. Like, like, like them nigga. They should never been trying to kick it by an Atlanta green. Fucking corn, man. Damn. This issues with 6300 TMC would not stop there as TMC was clearly upset Bredo got robbed by Lil Jeff considering both sides have mutual acquaintances. Not too long after Bredo got robbed one of TMC's most respected members called Slide would get shot in the head allegedly by Bloodhound members and would be put on life support in the hospital. Slide would deny heavily that he was shot even claiming he was on vacation out of the country, but will never show his face. Lil Jeff and Q50 would constantly let it be known that Slide is on life support and that Lil Jeff's 11th body is on the way. Not too long after Slide getting shot Lil Jeff would take two trips to California, here he meets with Lil Bibby, G Herbo, Rico Reckles, and other rappers. While he was at California he shot two music videos, and went around being himself not caring if he was in California or not, he decided to rob someone for their money, he was later chased down but managed to escape. Some vlogger posted on social media saying it was Rico Reckless who Lil Jeff robbed but it was later rectified by Reckless showing off his money and showing footage of himself with the bloodhounds.
Uh, yeah, man. Y'all saw me before them. Shout out to Bloodhound. Shout out to Scorn. Them shout out to Bertham. Them my boys. So I seen y'all doing that. I just look. Boy, I got. Look, I'm finna go to the gym. Look, my pants from yesterday right here. Look, you wanna see? Look, my pants from yesterday right here. Look. Still got cash in my pocket. My pants from yesterday. And that's that pocket. I'm gonna throw this pocket. Look. Tripping. Look, y'all tripping. Look. Y'all tripping. Look. This shit unlimited. Y'all crazy. This is a song. Y'all. What's wrong with y'all? Stop tweaking. As I said Bloodhound took two trips to California, after the first trip when Lil Jeff came back to Chicago he decided to do a drill before going back for the second time. On May 12, 2024 police responded to a shooting in an alley near 10,800 block of South Indiana Avenue just before 5 p.m. on a Sunday. When police arrived they found a man with a bullet to the neck, the man's name was Khalil Dunbar, he was 22 years of age. Dunbar was taken to Christ Medical Center in Oak Lawn in critical condition he died a week later, according to the streets Lil Jeff was responsible for Dunbar's murder, he once again bragged to his online fans saying he is at body number 11 now. Khalil Dunbar was a member of the 8 Tree Mob, who went by the name Baby KD. We got his soul. I'm gonna bust it in. Shit, that's 11. You're gonna be 8, and I'm gonna scan your stupid, scary ass to hell, nigga. On June 8, 2024, at around 5 p.m., Lil Jeff was attempting to slide on Trap City Zone 7, members in their territory on 66th and Rhodes when a shootout erupted and he was killed. The entire incident was captured on a doorbell security footage and was posted online. Little Jeff attempted to kill a rival gang member who ran to try escape him into a house when another shooter by the name Big Rob shot Lil Jeff. After falling Lil Jeff was shot multiple more times by Big Rob about at least 19 times in the chest. Allegedly Bloodhound Q50, Bert and T-Slick were with Lil Jeff when he died attempting to slide with him but due to Jeff jumping out the car before them they were not able to help him and had to drive away before Trap City members shot up their car. Later Q50 drove back to where he was shot to pick up Lil Jeff and took him to hospital but it was too late for Lil Jeff, he was pronounced dead at 5.46 p.m. Multiple members paid their respects to Lil Jeff after his death. His father even threatened the people who were responsible for his son's demise. His father tweeted, and to let it be known, you didn't get him, he came trying to get you and what happened happened. But the saga continues. Lil Scum's team released a tribute song to Lil Jeff, a few weeks after he was also murdered, the song is called, Blood and Blood Out, the song is standing on millions of views. This comes to the end of this video, please like and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos.